At just 11 years of age, Michael Andrew is a competitive swimming veteran. I started when I was seven, so I've been swimming for four years. Michael has already achieved in swimming what few before him have. First national record was last year. We got them all in the space. What, what was he? It's 10, 10 years old that the All Stars meet out in, was it in Kansas? And there was the 53 he got. actually exhilarating. It was awesome. Because after that race, you felt, you know, it was just, you gave all you got and it paid off. And what was so cool is we couldn't get out of there for quite a long time because there were a lot of people for autographs and everything. It was pretty cool. The winning streak didn't end there. Michael's name is tied to national records in all short course races in the 9 to 10 age group except the 100 butterfly. Michael also has the U.S. record in the long course 50 backstroke. I gotta say, the hardest one I had to get was the 100 freestyle. It just, every meet we were so close, so close, and then finally on our last second to last meet and pier, I finally got it by like half a second. But Michael aged up. He turned 11 and has plenty of work to do to secure records in his new bracket. Okay, ready? One more, and then we're going to go down to the pool. Still, he's on the radar of other coaches, like Chuck Beekler with the Mitchell Club. Michael's an exceptionally <laughs> talented swimmer. Um, he has all the physical tools that you need. I mean, he is he's 11, and he looks 14 or 15. I mean, he's a, a big, strong athlete. Um, he's very, very focused. I think his um, parents are doing a great job in terms of, of bringing him along. He plays soccer. He does other things. He's not totally focused on swimming, although they work very hard on swimming. And I think that's a way that he, you know, he'll be able to stay fresh and, and put in the grind that you need to put in to, uh, to go places in this sport. I mean, he's, he's a very special athlete. Michael's younger sister, Michaela, is also an excellent swimmer. At nine years old, she has her own take on the sport. I make friends in swimming. Well, I usually get to race my friends, and it's actually really fun. And then sometimes I get to race my brother, and so I like to race my brother and my friends. It's really fun. It seems the whole family has passion for sport and competition. Peter Andrew has always loved swimming, even as a youth in South Africa. We grew up by the ocean and we, all we did was swim and everything we did was water sports. I mean, so, I mean, we love the water. I mean, we belong in the water. But a swimming career in South Africa during the days of apartheid simply wasn't an option. Because in South Africa, we, because of our politics, we were sanctioned, so we couldn't compete internationally. I swam, but uh, I really was a summertime swimmer. Uh, you know, I... I held records and I swam for our state. Politics also factored into Peter and Tina's decision to raise their family in the U.S. and work in the Midwest. We traveled around the world for eight years, Tina and I, and um, when we went back home we found it was just uh, it was not a good place to be in South Africa. We had a lot of problems. So we decided, you know, out of all the places we traveled, America was the place that we could see ourselves bringing up our family because our kids would have loads of opportunities here. The Andrews arrived in Aberdeen in 2001. Because I was in agriculture, South Dakota Wheat Growers offered me a position. Peter and Tina co-founded the Aberdeen Aquaholic Swimming Club and put water in their pool in January of 2009. The pair work hard to help their children and other local youth achieve their own athletic dreams. My dream is to swim in Rio 216 and then I'd like to become an artist with my swimming. So when I'm swimming in the Olympics, you know, I can be a swimmer and artist. Michael and his sister did well at the state meet in Mitchell this summer. Michael broke the state 50 meter backstroke record set in 1977 and he placed first in all of his final events. Kayla placed third in her 50 back race. Both children have learned to keep success in perspective. 
If you're swimming and you don't congratulate or anything, people will think you're not a nice person. And if when you get big, you want people to like you. So it definitely helps to be humble. We, we teach our kids that. And everything we do, we try and dedicate to the Lord and know that that's where it comes from. I think that goes a long way into keeping them grounded and keeping them humble. People always tell us that if Michael's going to be great in this sport, we'll have to leave the state, we'll have to travel, we have to move somewhere else. And, and I do disagree with that. I think that right here in Aberdeen, we can do all that it takes to take him to the Olympics. I mean, it's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication and a lot of mindsets that may have to be changed in the interim too. But I really, you know, families are, for us, traveling to meets and stuff, you know, the greatest thing is meeting with other families and forming bonds and friendships and stuff um, in the sport. So there's just so many things. I do believe that South Dakota is good. It's for us as where we're at now in, in the sport, I think. The Rio Olympics are still nearly six years down the road. In the meantime, Michael and his family will focus on doing the things that they love, like expanding interest in the sport they hold so dear in the state they've made their home.